Time to fill her up. Oh, limited to $75. 19.743 million gallons plus 20 gallons. I've put in 40 gallons so far to go almost a thousand miles. Where's my receipt? Printing receipt. I gotta put my credit card in again. 379, it's supposed to be as low as 365 or 353, but I'll never see that. Right, gotta put some more moolah in. Oh, timed it perfectly. So 20 gallons in the previous three fill-ups, plus 20 in this fill-up, plus 13.7. So 20, 40, 53, 54 gallons to go almost a thousand miles, 960 miles, 1600 kilometers. I filled it up at 71,222, now we're at 72,185, so 960 something miles. And I could do this and click and click and click forever. But the sun's going down, I wanted to get to the little car show with the suds. 14.3. Yeah, this thing takes fuel. Usually 15, 16 miles per gallon. I've gotten as high as 18 in California, if that was accurate. Probably going downhill from San Francisco to Los Angeles. The first time I bought it, 18 miles per gallon. Haven't done a thing to it. Just drive it and drive it. Alternator, starter, brake shoes, brake calipers, brake pads, fan belts, paint job at Pisser. Last time I filled it, I clicked it forever. Let's see if we can get an even 15 gallons in. Yeah, 15 gallons plus 20, 35 plus 20, 55 gallons, 960 miles. You do the math. I'm gonna try get some more miles in 120 more miles to Indiana. What's the price of gas? Uh, it's over there, 365 a gallon. Maybe it's cheaper in Indiana. <laughs> Nice concrete work. Wow, beautiful concrete overpass. White concrete and blue trim. 1950s style with airplane motif. Looking good. Welcome to Dayton, Ohio. Probably cheaper to get gas in Indianapolis now that I think about it. Too late. Drilled her up. Saves. Full to the brim. 17.5 miles per gallon. Not bad for an old piece of junk. Rumble, rumble, Windstar. No Dodge Caravan. Welcome to Dayton, Ohio. Next stop, Indianapolis. 118 miles away. 200 kilometers. Suburban sprawl. Houses in the cornfields. That's what they grow here. Corn and soybeans. Indianapolis, Dayton International Airport. The Christian Life Center. Gotta believe in something. Organized religion. It's really popular. Uh, I think we're done with Ohio. You don't see that very often. Thank you for visiting. Welcome to Indiana's coming up next, I guess. Yeah, the arch that says goodbye. So much to discover. In Ohio, you can't see it, it's all sun, I know. I guess we're heading to Indiana. Yep, 85 more miles to the suds. Drive it, I hope I get there before dark. It says ETA 839. Do they have a different time zone in Indiana? And I just filled up with fuel, and I bet you the price of fireworks is cheaper. Home of the big ones. I wonder how much fuel is. Yep, you're here. Welcome to Indiana, the last exit in Ohio. Indiana, crossroads of America. And lots of Christians live here. Respect them and they'll respect you. Yep. Just saw a Super 8, $38. I paid $78 plus tax for a crappy Motel 6. At least it was quiet. Got up at 8.20. Wow, usually I get up a little bit before that. 
The corn's growing up. Been a rough spring. Too much rain. Lots of runoff from the farmers' fields, fertilizer into the lakes and streams. Yep, we're sure messing with Mother Nature. Lots of roadside billboards. Doesn't do much for the view. It's all about the revenue. Up and down the hills of Indiana. Richmond, the great all-America city. I don't know if you can see that. Dusty and Lefty are on a prairie home companion. The roads here are just as bad as anywhere else. Huge potholes, debris on the side of the road. There's no perfection to the new bridge. Probably because the old one was in rough shape. Lots of retaining wall concrete. Nothing lasts forever. 540 BMW. The gentleman is having a good cigarette. Stinking up the interior. Hotels are cheaper than New York. I tell you, Buffalo was 100. Here it's 37 and up for a Super 8. Yeah, rough roads. Corn is high. Hell of a State of Indiana. Welcome to Indiana. Where are we? We're over there. There's the whole state. We came in, I guess, uh, Lake Erie, Columbus, Akron. Now we're here and we're going to the other side of Indy. 90 more miles. So, let's see if we can get where we're going before the sun goes down. And you gotta go, you gotta go, huh, puppy? Oh, yeah. Welcome to Wayne County. The sun is shining, the rest area is clean and nicely made and laid out and kept up. Nice big gutters off the roof. There's the trusty Suburban. So far, so good. I don't know. Having my problems with six fives, aren't I? I guess they're not really related to the design of the six five. The bolt got rusty and broke, and I got overzealous and drilled right through to the back cylinder almost. Dum diddy dum dum. I wonder what it's going to take to fix that. Guess we'll see once I get that cover off. Welcome to Indiana. Crossroads of America. Roadside problems. Boat problem. Change of the tire. We're almost there. Ten miles to go. My satellite radio died a long time ago. It'd be nice to have digital radio, not satellite radio. Digital radio. You stay on the same station the whole trip. Satellite radio is nice. Mine had a power cord problem and it just died. I changed the fuse, I put a piece of wire in, and I got no stinking satellite radio. I pay $16 or $18 a month, and I never use it. Now I try to use it, it's dead. Black, three-quarter ton GMC. Where are we going? We're going to Suds Drive-In. They're supposed to have a car show tonight, I hope. I saw the muscle cars going the other way in Ohio. I hope I'm going the right way. And tomorrow there's a small Corvair show, the Circle City Corvairs, and then on Monday they get a caravan to the convention in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And I got my brochure. I'm going to check out the car activity in DeKalb County. Auburn Court, Dewsburg Museum, I've been there. Henry Ford Museum, got a few places to go to. See how it goes. <laughs> 